Hey guys, Laurie Center, and welcome back to the 2K series. It's been a fair while, but we are back. Back on the backlash grind as always, which I think we are on episode 3, I believe. So, yeah, welcome to uh, the series again. We are still, obviously, as I mentioned, at backlash. And I'll tell you what, what a match we've got for you. Omos, the Nigerian giant. Taking on Cody Rhodes tonight in one on one action. If you guys want to see some more 2K23 um, content regarding obviously either GM mode or obviously universe mode, as you can see on the screen, uh, drop a like down below. Subscribe, obviously, if you guys are new as well. But let's try and hit 15 likes if you possibly can for uh, obviously some more of these out in the future. I will try um, and possibly, if I can get more of the backlash pay-per-view out before obviously we move back to smackdown and raw but for the time being we're still on the pay-per-view um and yeah we're gonna uh, have a good time around it obviously if you miss any episodes as well or any build-up hype uh say for go and check out the playlist download in the uh, description in the link so yeah but yeah almost and here comes cody rhodes Oof. this is the this is the very big match for cody he has to uh, obviously perform tonight against obviously these fans and showing what he's made of. Obviously, he has been attacked by Omos uh, several times, but obviously I don't think Cody wants to be ran over by uh, Omos. But this match is also a last man standing. So the only way you can win is making sure your opponent is down for the 10 count. And obviously there will be um, a victor obviously after this. But as I just said a second ago, Cody, this is a massive match for him. The crowd are fired up, Cody's fired up. I'm also liking Cody Rhodes' little attire as well tonight. It does look pretty nice and detail uh, to see. Wrapping the uh, white and pink, I believe, from Cody. So, yeah. But almost obviously out here as well. No, we obviously no um, MVP. So, that's a bit of a, uh, I suppose, advantage for um, Cody Rhodes here tonight. Obviously, MVP's been a obviously big part of the... Cody Rhodes and Omos feud, but uh, obviously, if you guys do remember, uh, MVP was the one to obviously call out Cody Rhodes, but obviously MVP never actually faced Cody because Omos was the attacker in the end, but, you know, whether this helps Omos tonight, obviously without MVP, we'll see, but I don't think it will, to be fair, I think, obviously not having MVP in uh, Omos' corner is going to be a, quite a big disadvantage, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, already off the bat. Almost obviously does in fact uh, miss a clothesline there, which doesn't actually go too well for him. Obviously, as you can see, Cody Rhodes now trying to build some momentum by taking down the Nigerian giant. It doesn't seem to go that way at all. Here comes Cody trying to grab him again, and almost with a big clothesline taking down Cody Rhodes. Cody just at that clothesline, and look at the strength of almost without hesitation. Just so easily picks up Cody Rose. But yeah, any weapons and obviously anything at all can be used in this match to make sure your opponent is down from the same count. So Cody Rhodes going for a springboard. Oh my word! Oh! Almost did not expect him to, I think, even do that. But I don't think he could see him to fair with the steel steps covering his face there. But Cody Rhodes already taking almost to the limits. Oh! Straight into the uh, steel steps as well goes Cody Rhodes. Not particularly too good for Cody there at all. Almost he's just manhandling Cody Rhodes currently, so it's like it's not looking too good for Cody, but Cody trying to find some momentum slaps almost right across the face. I, I tell you what, I would be very careful if I was Cody Rhodes, he'd be treading deep water, but um, yeah, on the last couple of episodes of Raw, Cody has been just absolutely against it with Omos. And here comes Cody Rhodes now, what's he gonna go and try and do? Going for a DDT on the outside. Beautiful transition there into a DDT onto the time at four. And here comes Cody Rhodes again. Grabbing Omos by the head. Cody Rhodes. Oh, big clothesline dropping down Omos. Omos is looking like he's already tired in this match. Here comes Cody Rhodes. Oh my god, what are we gonna see here from Cody Rhodes? Cody! Oh! Going for a suicide dive on the outside. Dropping down Omos. Oh, went for a clothesline. It didn't connect. Went for a clothesline again. It doesn't drop him. Uh oh. Oh my god. Look at the strength of Omos. But oh, Cody Rhodes reverses it into a DDT. And Omos did not expect that one either at all. Omos looks like he's behind in this match so far. Cody is on top. 
It is not looking good at all for all of us currently this match, ladies and gentlemen. It is not looking good. Whatever I said before, this factor of, uh, you know, not having MVP in Omos' corner might go against Omos here in this match. It's not looking too good at all. Obviously, we've already seen an interference as well in a uh, match, obviously, with the return of Scarlett Bordeaux in the uh, Carrion Cross and Kevin Owens match in the first um, episode of um, Backlash on the part one. Here comes Cody now. Nice little springboard backflip there kind of manoeuvre. Quite, quite a nice little manoeuvre there. Here we go. Here comes Cody Rhodes. Go for the crossroads. That could be all over. That could be all over. Referee's counting. The referee's counting. Cody Rhodes is fired up. The crowd are all fired up. Almost is still down for the count. Cody's got a table ready for when he gets up. He does get up at all. Count of seven. Oh, I don't think Cody Rhodes is done yet. I think he's going to try and uh, possibly inflict some more damage to uh, Almost over here. This is... This is uh, Probably not the best of ideas to do when you're looking at a 400 pound man. Here he comes. Cody Rose now has almost where he wants him. Oh! Elbow right into the face there. Could have potentially rocked his jaw that. Here comes almost. Oh! Straight into the table goes Cody Rhodes. Oh! Cody Rhodes isn't having it either. He just elbows almost right into the jaw as well. Oh! Almost also seems to be cut open on the head as well. There goes Cody Rhodes over the top rope. Cody's also down, but almost has broken the count. But yeah, I think almost might have potentially been busted open uh, with that um, elbow to the face from uh, Cody. Cody's not staying down though. It's gonna be hard to try and keep Cody Rose down. We all know what he's like. Cody Rose doesn't like to give up at all. Here comes almost. Oh, gets a big slap across the chest. There, massive slap indeed. Cody now dropping almost. Here comes Cody Rose with the table. What's he doing with that table? Uh oh. Cody Rhodes, what's he doing? Oh, tables give way again. Here comes Omos now, slowly getting into the ring after going on the top rope. Oh no, Cody Rhodes is in some big trouble there. Oh my god, Cody! Oh, he just got absolutely manhandled with a big double choke slam. With a double hand choke slam. Oh god, Cody's out. Cody's KO'd I think, he's not moving. I don't know if Cody's potentially out there. Count of five. Count of six. Count of six. Cody's back to his feet. At least Cody's back on his feet now, I suppose, after being down and out. I thought he was down and out after that choke. So like oh, Cody goes straight into the turnbuckle. Shoulder first, but does end up getting back into the match with that. Here comes almost. Look at the strength. I need to stop emphasizing on the strength on the top. It's massive, but you can just literally pick up Cody Rhodes so easily. It's not even like a joke. Ooh, big punch there from uh, Cody. Oh, big knee though from almost. Look at the strength again. I need to stop saying it. Oh my God! What a body slam! What an absolute body slam! Right onto the ground. Cody slowly getting to his feet this time. That might have potentially hurt his back a little bit. That body slam straight to the ground. Didn't look nice to be on the obviously receiving end of that. But we shall see. Cody runs up on his feet now. He's going for the table once again. Yeah, Cody's back's bruising very, very, very only very lightly, but it's, it's not. It's a sign that Cody Rhodes could potentially be hurting a little bit on his back because he's got a little bit of bruising. Here comes Omos now. Wolf straight to the back as well, so far. Almost looks like he's targeting the back of Cody Rhodes. Cody's got to be careful here. This could potentially uh, keep him down if he's not too careful. Obviously, if his back does end up seizing up. Oh, God. Here comes Omos. So many lifting maneuvers he's getting tonight. Omos, he is not messing around. Referee started the count. Cody's down. All in his chest as well. I think he might be potentially hurting with his chest a little bit. Almost. Oh, straight into the face of Cody. Oh my god, still steps straight to the face. Almost again with the steel steps. Does end up that missing at the back. Cody dodges out the way of it. Here comes Cody Rhodes. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Chokes on inbound for uh, Cody Rhodes. Oh god. That could be over again. Cody's back again, getting some more damage inflicted onto it. 
almost he stood over him. As, as I said before at the start of this match, Cody Rhodes was all over almost and now I think the tables have turned since then. Count of six. Count of seven. But he just gets up before the count of seven. Almost misses him. So does Cody as well. Missing each other, these two opponents so far. Both trying to give it her all for the fans tonight in the arena. Here comes almost again. This could be it. Oh, he can look big move, but Cody's blocking him. Cody Rhodes going to the top turn buckle with, well, he's put almost in the top turn buckle, I say sorry. Oh, God. Cody Rhodes going to the table. The table's on fire. The table's on fire. Oh, my God. Almost has got up. No way. Oh, right for the table. Cody Rhodes has just driven almost right for the flaming table after almost nearly actually got off the top turn buckle himself, but Cody wasn't on it at all. Big forearm as well to the straights of the face. Almost is bleeding badly as well. And he's uh, and got quite a big cut across his uh, forehead. Count of the referee has begun. Here comes Cody Rose with a sledgehammer. This could potentially be a tribute to her. Well, just wait for time. Ooh, straight into the lower back area of, uh, of almost there with that sledgehammer. This match has gone pretty far so far. Here comes Cody Rose looking for the Cody Cutter. Strong to the uh, broken parts of the table that happened before, just very briefly. Almost is stunned. Cody Rhodes on the table parts again with a crossroads. This has to be over now. The referee's going to call it quickly as well, I think. He's calling the pin, well, the, the actual count, you see, pretty quickly, as you can see on screen. He's counting pretty fast. Almost needs to try and get up as, as quick as he can if he wakes up. Cody's doing a little bit of talking for the crowd with a bit of sledgehammer. Kind of proves dominance over almost currently so far in this match. <clears throat> Cody still trying to give more to Olmos after all the pain he's been suffering for the last couple of weeks on Raw. And then big clothesline dropping Olmos. I would not expect Cody Rhodes to be able to drop Olmos, but he just dropped him completely. Here comes Cody Rhodes now dropping uh, Olmos over the ropes. Almost his big arm comes flying through straight into Cody Rhodes' face. Oh, now here comes a big knee, lower end. Here comes almost with a bit of a suplex. Oh, release suplex slam. Ouch. Just narrowly as well, missed the table as well. That little bit of the broken table just got missed. Almost again with a steel step straight to the area of uh, Cody's head. Also, he's trying to get up on the, off the floor. Almost again with those steel steps. Is, is he going to do it one more time with the steel steps? Oh, he's missed. Cody Rhodes now. Throwing some big punches, trying to get back in this match, trying to get some momentum going. Almost double on chokes on once again. Cody! No! Could that could that be all she wrote? Could that be the the pinnacle point at the end of this match? Cody Rhodes has been manhandled again with a double on choke slam straight to the map. Cody's back must be absolutely in pieces currently at this moment in time. Pieces, I mean. Oh, he's got up straight away. Oh, dodging that sledgehammer shot. Cody rolls again. Roundhouse kicked off the uh, apron. Cody with a steel chair now. Trying to get almost to his feet whilst he staggers to the top of the feet. And then, oh! Chair gets thrown across the ring. And then, hold on. Not a bad maneuver that from Lomos. Cody's not giving up, though. Cody Rhodes is not staying down. He's got a little bit of breathing room as well. Cody Rhodes playing it tactical there. Very tactical maneuver there from Cody Rhodes. Trying to play it tactical. Get a bit of uh, breathing room on the outside of the uh, ring. And here comes almost with a, with a steel chair. But it doesn't actually happen at all. Because uh, Cody Rhodes in fact blocked that. And there we go now. Cody Rhodes could potentially be looking to put almost again for another table. It looks like it could be. It looks like it could be another table being broken here, ladies and gentlemen. Hold your horses. Cody Rhodes, oh my god, what on earth happened there? Almost, in fact, got off the table. Cody, I think, just missed the table. Oh, he did go for the table, but didn't break. And it just landed on top of uh, almost his head now. Now, Cody Rhodes, oh my god, jumping on the table above almost his head. Oh my word, that could have potentially maybe knocked uh, Omos out there. Referee's blocking Cody Rhodes' way there. Omos just, say for got a diving elbow 
off the top of the turn, well, top of the turn, but from the outside, with a table on his head. And then almost gets chucked through the table with an Irish whip. Oh my god, I mean, he is 400 pounds, and it does make sense for him to go through the table by getting chucked into it. Maybe he couldn't stand up at all and just give way. Oh my god. Cody Rhodes now. Oh my god, Cody. Look at the balance, and then what a manoeuvre is, well, off the, off the springboard, off the apron, beautiful manoeuvre, that from Cody Rhodes, beautiful manoeuvre. I'd say for Cody does in fact love doing his uh, springboard manoeuvres. Here comes Cody Rhodes, what's he doing? Oh, crossroads on the outside, that could be over. Referees count him, count of eight, count of nine, almost he's still down, count of ten. Cody Rhodes is your victorious winner over here now. Tell you what, what a match both superstars gave. Almost, as I said before, might have been at a disadvantage without obviously having an MVP there, but what a win for um, for Cody Rhodes. But yeah, if you enjoyed today's video though, people, do go and drop a like down below, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next part, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care.